Welcome back to Farming Tales Beginner Guides. What we're going to talk about today is how to stake your barn, higher rarity stakes, and how to use your barn. We did a whole separate video on how to go through and harvest your, your animals and your lumberjack and your gardens and all that fun stuff. Now once you've harvested them, how do you convert that into either cest or save those for new wax cester when we can actually produce uh, higher tier goods? So let me go ahead and show you that. What we're going to do is we're, we're in game now and we run over to the barn. Every single person that plays a game gets a standard barn by default. So you don't need to buy an NFT for your barn. There, there are additional barns that are higher rarities that give you more space. If you look over here, you'll see that right now, as far as my barn goes, I only have 100 space. So once I reach that cap and if I try and continue to harvest, I lose the products. It doesn't give me an error. I just lose the products. So what you want to do is either make sure you stay under that 100 mark or you get a, a basically a barn upgrade. When you upgrade your barn, you want to make sure that your barn is empty. So what we're going to focus start this video with is really show you how to sell the items within your barn, show you different options, and then we'll show you how to increase the rarity or, or basically stake the barn. So once you're here, there's two circles. This first circle that's outside is going to be how you stake the, the higher rarity barn. And the one inside the barn is how you manage the barn. So you go in here and you click on E. And it's going to show the, all the products that we've harvested so far. For example, goat milk from the goats, goose eggs from the geese, wood from the lumberjack, and wool from the sheep. Um, you have several options here. You can go ahead and only sell the wool if you want to sell that. You can go ahead and sell maybe six eggs just by reducing the number. You have so many different options. You also just have the option if you're in a hurry to go ahead and select all and sell everything. That's what we're going to do to this uh, this time since we're going to be going ahead and staking a new barn. So let me go ahead and once you have select all, you'll see the payout is going to be 362 cest and you can go ahead and just sell. If, you, if you're if you just about to sell and you realize you made a mistake, oh I wanted to keep that wood, you just click on the X and it brings it back over here. And then you just sell what you have in there. Once you go through the selling process, it's going to go through the authentication like it normally does. And then you're going to go ahead and you see that my cest increased. I now only have the wood available, which we're going to sell. Just like I said, we're going to stake a new barn. And you see the different values. So let's just go ahead and select all, sell. And then we're going to wait a second here. Um, just so you're aware, if you check this little box, it does speed up the process just a smidge. Uh, but as you see down here, I have a CPU issue. I, I exceeded my CPU. So that's something every time you do a transaction in game, what you're going to see is you're going to, you, you're going to need CPU. So make sure that you have enough CPU staked. It's pretty simple. Just go over the wax.io and stake your CPU. I'll be right back in a second after I stake a little bit more CPU. All right, we are back. We're going to go ahead and give it another shot. Now that I have a little bit more in there and you see it sold. So now I have 740 uh, cest available. I can go through and I can stake that. I can use that for crafting. I can withdraw it uh, for any nefty sales that they may have coming up. Uh, just a lot of different options that you can do with that. If I, if I go ahead and stake it, you're going to go ahead and see that CBIT uh, will go up over time. There is a small fee also for using the barn CBIT wise, so keep that in mind too. It's basically the fee charge to, to ship the products to wherever you're selling it to. So now that we have the barn empty, we're going to go through the process of staking the higher rarity barn. If we go in here, we click on E, and then we're just going to go ahead and stake this by clicking on empty and then clicking on the barn. And there we go. What you're going to see now, if I exit, you see the barn looks the same. But if I refresh it, this barn is going to look a little bit bigger. So what we're going to do is we're going to refresh the page. And when I come back, it should be a little bit bigger of a barn. The epic barns are a lot bigger. The epic barns are noticeably bigger. Um, between the, the rare and the standard, it's just a little bit taller. So I'm, I'm not sure if you've noticed the difference. It is small. Uh, but there is a small difference to the barn now. It shows it's just a little bit bigger. You have two doors now instead of the one door, and it's a little bit deeper. So I hope you all enjoy this. That's how you use the product system. The product system will be very, very uh, 
you'll need that quite a bit down the road, especially when new wax chester is released here shortly. Uh, to produce different items, you may want to save certain things, like I'm, I'm going to save the lumberjacks. The other thing I wanted to show you was up here you saw the barn increase from 100 space to 500. That's the rare. If you go all the way up to the epic, it goes up to 1,000 available space. I hope you all enjoy these kind of videos. Please let me know if there's any other questions you have or any other tutorials that you want to see. And I hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.